Honoring a fallen hero, family, members of the community, and thousands of police officers from across the country gathering to pay their respects to Sergeant Michael Chesna. A solemn salute on this day and long embraces as Sergeant Chesna's casket was moved to the church for his wake and funeral. The streets in Hanover today became a sea of blue. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. I'm Lee Martin. In for David Wade, thousands of first responders offered their condolences this afternoon to Sergeant Chesna's widow and children. Let's get right up to WBZ's Bill Shield, who is live tonight in Hanover. And Bill, a very emotional day. Very emotional, as you can imagine, Liam, because any time a police officer dies in the line of duty, there are going to be a lot of emotions. And today, Route 139 here in Hanover was, as Lisa said, a sea of blue for about a mile to the east with police officers from across the region coming to pay their respects to the family of Sergeant Mike Chestnut. It's kind of a mix. It's a mix of sadness, it's a mix of anger and frustration. Like many of these men and women in blue, they say Mike Chesna put on the uniform for one reason, to help people. But he was also well aware of the dangers that came with it. It is a dangerous job. You know, I, I'm the chief now, but, you know, similar to a parent, you worry about the officers that work with you that are out on the street every day, just like you would your own children. So. It's a, big, it's a big family. The Sea of Blue stretched down Route 139 in Hanover this afternoon as police from across the region came to honor Sergeant Chesda and to promise to support his family in the future. You know, it just shows a, a tremendous amount of respect. Uh, the, the amount of officers that are here, it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter where you work, we're all the same, we're all blue, it's the brotherhood. In these tragic times, we'll all be there for one another and no one will ever take that away from us. Mike Chesna served his country in Iraq and Afghanistan, then came home to serve his hometown of Weymouth. Six years ago, when he was graduating from the academy, he wrote a note to his parents explaining why he wanted to be a cop. So many people go through life only thinking of themselves. And I was determined not to be one of them. Right now, the wake is for friends and extended family of Sergeant Chesna. The, the police officers have, per, for the most part, come and gone. But tomorrow is a funeral where police officers from around the country will be attending to honor the memory of a police officer who, every sense of the word, simply wanted to help people out. Reporting live from Hanover, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.